children good morning to everyone how are you all i hope you are all doing good and staying safe at home are you all watching the classes regularly keep watching the classes regularly and learn the lessons properly because it will be easy for you to study and learn when you come to school and another one important thing is when you come to school you have eight periods and you will be learning all the subjects in one day and you will be having the homeworks at least from 3 to 4 subjects am i right and you have to study at least 3 subjects per day but at present in online classes you have only one subject per day am i right per day one subject means it will be very easy for you to learn am i right so please sit with your parents and learn the lessons completely okay because you are going to learn only one subject per day sit and learn the only one subject thoroughly okay understood children i hope you understood and obey your parents and obey my words also okay let's move on to the subject today we are going to learn science subject and we are going to revise lesson 2 and lesson 3 and we are going to do the book back exercise the rest of the exercise we missed in the last session understood children okay under lesson 2 this is the picture we have studied that is parts of a plant under parts of a plant we have studied flower stem fruit leaf roots and we have learned each part of a plant's specification and functions also we will learn one by one we will revise one by one what we have learned under roots roots fixes the plant firmly to the soil and hold the plant uphold the plant strongly and another one important thing is it absorbs the water and minerals from the soil okay next we'll come to leaf what is the importance of leaves leaves take part in photosynthesis we have learned about photosynthesis also leaves have tiny holes in them and they absorb water from the environment okay what is the importance of fruits it protects the seeds what about the stem stem is the conductor it means it transport the water to other parts of the plant it to transport the water and minerals from the root to the other parts of the plant next flower flower as the flower dries the fruit grows okay these are all the things we learned in lesson number 2 and next we learned parts of the flower the green parts at the bottom are called sepals this much only you you have in second standard as you go to uh, third and fourth standard you will be learning other parts of the flowers also now you must know about the green part which is under the flower that is called sepal okay next is photosynthesis i already told you about photosynthesis what happens in photosynthesis the carbon dioxide and water and the sunlight all things absorbed by the plant and the plants are give out the oxygen for us that is called photosynthesis and another one important thing we learned about the green color of leaves why the leaves are green in color because it has a substance called chlorophyll because of that chlorophyll substance only it looks green in color this is what we learned in second lesson 
am i right okay next third lesson we have learned types of plants parts of a plant we learned and we have learned types of plants what are the types we learned trees yes somebody is telling herbs shrubs climbers creepers very good children you all remember i am very happy that you remember all those things whatever i taught you good okay what are trees what are trees trees are short or tall trees are very tall very good trees are tall plants and it has very very thick hard and strong stems we learned right yes what are the stems are called the stem of the tree i told you one name have you remember okay let's learn the stem of a tree is called trunk yes we learned that is trunk look at this tree we learned about this trunk so much it is very strong it is very hard and very thick you can't shake it very easily this is what we learned and one more important thing i told you the trunk looks in what color it is brown in color it is usually brown in color yes usually brown in color do you have any other color apart from brown color yes you have whitish color and i told you the tree name also do you remember yes it is it is people tree yes look at this tree its trunk is white in color we have learned this and the next is banyan tree what is the specification under in banyan tree it has roots growing from the branches yes do you remember it has roots growing from the branches and it goes down okay and next we have another one important thing the tree doesn't have branches at all do you remember the tree name yes yes children palm tree and coconut tree all these things doesn't have branches at all so you must remember all these pictures okay store in your mind these pictures then it will be easy for you to learn okay palm trees do not have branches next what we learned we learned about shrub what is the specification shrub shrubs are what plant it is bushy plants do you remember they are bushy plants and their stems are very close to the ground and another one important thing is they have woody stems you can um, you do you know what stick it is right so like that the it has woody stems and they live for many years we learned this and another one is next is what we learned climbers and creepers yes climbers and creepers what is the importance in this climbers and creepers have very weak stems yes very weak stems because of weak stems what happens they cannot stand on their own they have to lean on somebody or they need support am i right yes they have weak stems so because of that they cannot stand on their own they have to they have to lean on somebody sometimes the climbers twin around a plant they climb up on a wall or a plant so climbers climbers they will climb up on a wall or a plant they are called climbers for example cucumber grapes bitter gourd all these are climbers what about creepers look at this picture these are creepers they creep along the ground because of the heavy weight of the vegetable or fruit for example i have shown you watermelon pumpkin and musk melon all these are what creepers okay so creepers means the plant the stems all those things creep along the ground it will lay on the ground okay that are called creepers and so these are all the thing we learned we missed one what is it yes anybody yes it is herb 
we forgot right herb they are small plants with soft stems yes and i have uh, told you for um, examples mint tulsi and all okay these are herbs and herbs usually have different color flowers also yes and uh, i have given you one assignment that is project work and it takes many days i know i didn't tell you to uh, urge and do it so immediately and submit i told you to preserve the leaves and do a herbarium and you have to write the each name am i right are you all doing it if you if you didn't start till please collect leaves from each plant each type of climbers creepers herb shrub trees you collect different leaves and i told you to preserve it in the newspaper after it dries up you have to take and stick it on a paper and you have to write the name of the leaf okay which tree it belongs to you have to write i have given you that assignment please keep doing it okay next we are moving on to exercise okay you have to learn the spellings in this lesson okay spellings are more important for us to write okay okay you have 15 spellings in this lesson which means you have more spellings these are all the words which are new to you okay you could have uh, studied some of the spellings in first standard but these words will be very new to you so these are the new words you are going to learn in this lesson okay children okay first one is trees when you study spelling you have to repeat the spelling at least 5 to 6 times okay then by automatically you will by heart the spellings first one is trees t r e e s trees t r e e s trees when i tell you you have to repeat after me when you repeat after me you will easily understand the pronunciation and spell the word correctly second one strong what is it strong s t r o n g strong s t r o n g strong third one shrub shrub which means s h okay rub r u b so s h r u b shrub fourth one herb h e r b herb fifth one branches b r a n c h e s branches trunk sixth one is trunk t r u n k trunk seventh one bushy b u s h y bushy eighth one ground g r o u n d ground ninth one climber c l i m b e r climber tenth one creeper cree c r e e p e r creeper okay 11th one canna c a n n a canna 12th one twine t w i n e 13th one woody w o o d y woody 14th one whitish w h i t i s h whitish 15th one tick t h i c k tick so these are all the spellings write down in your notebook and learn the spellings you must spell the word repeatedly then you will learn the pronunciation and spell the word properly okay next we'll move on to the next exercise look at this exercise this is match the following i will tell you now tell you the answer and you have to write down in your notebook and you have to match it 
and take a picture of that um, match the following and post it in the group okay children okay look at this match the following first one is palm second one is shrub third one banyan fourth one herb fifth one banana the other side first option is has branches close to the ground second option has roots growing from branches third option is a tall herb fourth option is a plant with soft stem fifth option is a tree without branches so now first question palm so what is the answer for palm palm the answer is it is a tree without branches very good children second one shrub what is the specification about this shrub it has branches close to the ground yes third one banyan what is the specification about banyan it has roots growing from branches very good fourth one herb herb is a plant with soft stem fifth one banana banana is a tall herb so i taught you how to do this and you have to write down in your notebook and match it match it means you have to number the sentences okay it, it means palm the answer is is a tree without branches you have to write one near to that sentence okay like that you have to match, match it and take a picture of that and post it in the group after doing it okay okay let's move on to answer the following first question what are trees i taught you already what are trees trees are tall plants with strong hard and thick stems you are correct children second question what are herbs herbs are small plants with soft stems what are herbs herbs are small plants with soft stems next question third what are shrubs what are shrubs shrubs are bushy plants and have woody stems okay what are shrubs shrubs are bushy plants and have woody stems good fourth question what are climbers climbers have weak stems they climb up on a wall or plant what are climbers climbers have weak stems they climb up on a wall or plant okay next fifth question what are creepers creepers have weak stems they creep along the ground what are creepers creepers have weak stems and they creep along the ground so answer under on answer the following you have five questions and these are the questions you have to study from the third lesson so you have learned spellings and the question answer today and we have revised the lesson 2 and lesson 3 okay children okay i hope you all understood whatever i taught you now and please sit and learn with your parents if you have any doubts you can very well clarify me with me okay children okay thank you children we will meet in the next session bye